Hi, I'm going to introduce you to working with your own data in the Data Classroom tool. So first thing you need to do is import some data. This green button on the left, this big green one, import a data set. So I click that button and now I get options. I can fetch data from Google Sheet or, or Google Drive file. Uh, I can upload a spreadsheet from my computer, either Excel or CSV. I can create an empty data table and type the data in. But I'm going to show you this paste in data from a spreadsheet and it's gonna use the first row as, as my column headers. That's the, the default. You can turn that off, of course, if you wish. So I'm gonna go up here to the these data. You can see I have this Google Sheet open. It's got three variables, sex, height, and hand span. Um, I copy that, I come back, I put my cursor here, paste copied cells here, and I paste it in, and that's it. So I've brought in the data that way. Now. The, up here at the top of the screen, you have this uh, flow for working with your own data. And you can see preparation, visualization, and statistics. We're going to be focused here in preparing the data. Data import is done. That's a green check mark. But prepare has this, this caution triangle. So I click this. Let's find out what this is all about. Now, it's telling me I need to do two things. One, I need to enter in some description for my data, short or long, but I need to put something in. Uh, two, I need to have my column types chosen. So for each variable, which is, is a column, I need to say, you know, what type of data is that? Is it categorical? Is it numeric? And if I have no idea what, what it means by that, I can click the learn more and it'll explain this business of typing the data. It'll, it'll explain what a numeric variable is, what a categorical variable, what a sample count is, or, or this info variable. And so I have a better idea of what I need to choose for, for my own data. So I'm going to, I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to say, I'll fix this. And I click that. And so first thing I'll do, I'll do take care of that description. Um, I'm just going to write the word description in here. Um, and you can put anything you want into this field. I'm just going to uh, keep this brief uh, for the demo. So now I've got a description. It lives up in this box. If I ever want to edit that again, the, the pencil is there. So over here, um, next thing I need to do is choose my type of, of variables, right? So hand span in centimeters. This is a numeric variable. So I'm going to choose numeric from the drop down, and that works. Height in centimeters, this also is numeric. And I click this, but uh oh, I get a red flag, right? So I go up and I hover on this, and it says non numeric value found. And I see that I've got this second cell is flagged. And if I look closely, it's 1, 8, and then a lowercase o, 0.3. So that, that letter O cannot be in this column. If it's numeric, it has to be numbers only. So I'm going to change that to a zero, 180.3. It's all numbers now. And I hit enter and that is taken care of. Now, uh, this last variable is sex. And I see the values are F and M. This is categorical because these are categories. So I click uh, categorical. And there I have it, that has been um, changed to a categorical variable. Now, up here, this preparation, uh, both of those steps under preparation have, have turned to green check marks, indicating that I've done everything I need to, to do there. But I want to point out some, some other sneaky ways that this, this data set might not be fully prepared for analysis yet, although the computer isn't noticing these things. So one is if I look in this column of hand span, I've got this measurement right here of, of 2.5 centimeters. Now, hand span is the dis distance from pinky to thumb here. Uh, this, this measurement of 2.5 is suspect, and I probably want to exclude this from, from future analyses. So to do that, I go over here to this checkbox. I click exclude. You notice this; these numbers are subtly grayed out. This row of data will will no longer appear in graphs or or statistical analyses that I do in the future. So that that's one way to prepare your data is just kind of look it over and make sure that that all of your values are are actual values. And now outliers are okay to have, but when it what's an when it's an outlier that's clearly due to to severe measurement error or really a units conversion problem, uh, you you don't want to include that in the data set. Um, 
I want to also show you another way you can exclude values. So next to categorical variables, you get this box that says values. If I click that, um, I can actually, I can check and exclude um, an entire category. So if I want to exclude all females from a graph or an analysis, I just check that box. If I want to bring them back in, I just uncheck it. Um, you'll notice at first there was a little minus sign in there, and, and that was just indicating that I had excluded one, one female from this data set already. But if I do the check mark, that will exclude all females or you know, like this would exclude all males. Um, while we're here in this little values pop-up window, I want to also point out how I can I can um, give these categorical values labels. So now, if I make a graph, uh, these they will appear with female and male instead of just the F and M. I can also choose custom colors, and so any data point, whether that's in a scatter plot or a dot plot all female points are gonna be that red color now, and all male data points are gonna be that blue color. I can also choose data emojis. So I can I could go in here and you know search for an emoji to represent males, maybe use that male sign for males and use the female sign for females. And now if I if I turn those data emojis on, those data points will appear as, as symbols. Uh, I can also change the order that, that these data points will appear in on, on the x-axis or in a pie chart or something like that. I will bring that bring the, the males back into the into the graph. But but I just wanted to point out that that values and again just to show you that that's right here. Um, next to where it says categorical, that's where you can exclude entire categories. You can customize the the colors or the symbols. Um, I when I'm done um, with this preparation stage in total, if I want to hide the this this whole um, flow up here at the top as well as the description, I can come up here on the white bar um, and I can click show table only. And when I click that it will just show me nothing but the data table. So it'll just put the, the focus on your data if you don't want to, to uh, clutter your screen with those, with those other things when they're no longer uh, of immediate use to you. If you wanna bring those back, you know, I can bring them back with that, but that's how that works. Um, and then once I'm done, if I want to go over here and uh, save this file, I click save as, and you know, I can, I'm gonna call this, um, I'm going to call this a new data set explainer example uh, video. You can call your file anything you want. You click save. And now next time I open up my account, I can open up this data set and it will be saved in the exact same state that you left it. If, you, if you've already done things like typing columns, you will no, not have to do that again. So uh, with that, I'll just say have fun working with your own data. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.